mask on the train. Then the value would go down, and therefore fans could actually get sunshine on. He's a tool for walking. It was actually quite a quick job yeah. because the only real detail bit he was missing. I'm quite excited. What are we doing today? Well, we're at Kane to go to the Tusk expedition. Midland Railway. Oh, space train. 12.25 we might catch, it's gone 11 now. We've got the Swanwick Junction, makes its way up and comes back, but we're here for Tugs. This is Tugs. Stacey was saying she uh, likes these old suitcases that are here. Midland Railway Trust, is that it? This looks like it might be it, Butterly. It's in there, isn't it? Is it in there? <laughs> Tugs. Well, this is part one of it. Oh, well, oh there's more than one. They may have set up more at the uh, other end of the line. Oh, oh so we take the, if we get the train later, we can get to the other. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, this is just a, a small sample of uh, what they've got uh, on display. Um, if you've got any questions, I, maybe I can answer a few of them. <laughs> It's mainly to see because we're quite, um... <laughs> Go on. <laughs> I, rem I remember it, seeing it a bit as a kid and then I came across it because uh, someone did a video on our... Because, um... you know, Thomas Tank Engine sometimes has some darker episodes. The kids' programs mm -hmm. don't really have darker episodes these days. So someone bought this up, Tugs, a few years ago. And I was like, oh, I remember seeing that a bit. And I've watched a bit more of it. Made by the same company. Yeah. Or at least in at least Clearwater. These scripts. Bulls. Yes, this must have been, hmm, I believe these must have been notes from Oh, not actual, but like notes towards the script sort of thing Mm-hmm Could be the uh, working These these could have been the uh, The typed up scripts for the publishers to work with Oh, okay I'm assuming Oh, ten cent. Yeah, what's going on? <laughs> Who are you two? <laughs> I've been stuck behind this glass for a long time. <laughs> well, I've got to say, I'm getting a bit claustrophobic in this dry dock. <laughs> what were the um? Well, not the bad guys, but the sort of villains. They were all the Z. Um... The Z stacks. Yeah, is that it? Yeah. He had like Zebedee and um Yeah, they all have a literate they all they all the Z stacks have Z at the start of their name. Zoran, Zach, Zebedee, Zip, Zug, Captain Zero. It's it's it's, it's a sense of uniformity if anything if nothing else. There's some sketches there. You see yeah, it? Zug, Zip. You see that great big liner in front of you? Mm. Yeah. That was built for Tugs and used in Thomas up since the third series. Was it used in Tugs as well, or not? In the it end? was built for Tugs. It was used in several episodes. And in fact, there's some photos of it right here. That's its first livery, Duchess. It had two others: Princess Alice with only what two funnels, and SS Vienna. It was painted white with uh, gold lining. We painted into the. Oh, was that the episode where they kind of sent it off, didn't they? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm get I'm vaguely <laughs> big freeze. The episode the episode titles are on the tapes. Books. I remember some of the books, like reading them at school. I love how they've kept all the sketches and everything. Some of the moulds. Do any of the Thomas trains make cameos in Tux? Uh, no. no. But uh, some one bit of rolling stock did. 
No, it was the other way around. Elements from Tugs made it into Thomas, series yeah. three to five, mostly. Didn't they repurpose some of the boats? Yes, yeah. they, yes, they did, actually. Uh, uh, um, uh, okay, uh, oh, for, for a start, you see that little uh, China clay wagon? That was yeah. seen in Tugs. And uh, let's see. Um, Those night lights. They look yeah. cool. Those night lights look cool, don't they? Now, if you want to see what really made it into Thomas, I already mentioned the uh, liner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, and this... And this crane, or well, well, not necessarily quite this crane, it's had a, it looked very different in its days in tugs, but um, it got rebuilt after t the year 2000. Because um, uh, in the series it actually got knocked, it, there was an explosion, the episode with the explosion, it fell down, didn't it? Yeah, it was never actually stated that the crane died. Yeah. I mean, technically, they're, they're, they're all, they're, they may be sentient, but they're not actually like living the, in the like sense. Like mechanical. More than biological. Exactly. You see, the thing is, nobody knows for sure exactly what order the episodes of Tugs are supposed to be, but there are a few good clues in... in oh, in... so they might not actually be in chronological order the way they are in the series. Well, the tapes don't help, and neither does the broadcast order. Oh, oh so these were the, the faces for the crane? Thing. Yeah, they were dropped. Yeah. None yeah. of the Tugs cranes had faces. They all had um, little... Um, Loudspeakers! Yeah. yeah. Kaleidoscope. Right, See, kaleidoscope. I remember that kaleidoscope. I don't remember the little mugs. Got some stamps as well. Are these records? Oh. They look records. I remember the lunchbox. Like I said, there's a puzzle that I had as a kid and I thought maybe it might have come in here, but... Welcome to the Buckley Garden Rail, your visitor information pages. Oh, that's cool. What scale is your railway? Hardest question we've asked. Oh wow. There's a guy over there in the distance sealing windows. When I'm sealing windows. Little frog. Probably looks really cool when they're operating. If they put water in the middle, that'd be really cool. It's got steps to get into the middle, so they probably don't put water in the middle. Reminds me a bit of the Thomas one at Drayton Manor. They've got a whole bit set up with model trains. Oh, this is really cool, because if you're scanning those QR codes, they do mention something. Can you hear the noise there? Listen to yeah, the noise. Yeah, I can hear it. Garboard. Hopefully ride the railway today, because they've got more exhibition at the other end of the line. I'm being proper tourist here, I'm just taking all the leaflets. That looks like the giant bear from, uh, it's not the same one, but the one from Alan Partridge, you know, she buys him the birthday present. Was oh, that over the engine? Oh, memories. Memories. This is a train whistle. I want to say train whistle, but it's probably not a train whistle. But... It is, yeah. Okay. Looks... Train whistle. Some cushions. Murder and mystery. Dolphins. What is it like on the actual cards? Why oh, have they actually got pictures on? They've got mini Stretch Armstrong. The world's smallest Mr. Potato Head. Got a different, a lot of different style fridge magnets. Oh, they have the original one, which is that one. Yeah, that one probably looks the best. I quite effect. like that yeah. one. It's quite unique. We've got a pen. Yes, connection to Wales. Connection to Wales, North Wales. Which we may not have said on camera, but we've got a lot of model stuff. We've got some relics up here for sure. Oh, it says that the train gets off, stops, but stay on it and then come back and then this is the level to get to it. Little things here and I just need the pen to try and do it. These tickets here.
limited travel because of different stops. Welcome. Do you want to fill those in? I haven't got a pen to write these. Oh, never have. Didn't you buy one? Oh, pencil in my bag. This is Spot the Tug. No, I kind of. We put different tugboat names in, then we get the name. Mm -hmm. The secret. Is it the secret episode? Yeah, I don't know. Reveal the hidden episode title in the shaded column. So that's what we're going to do. Zuck. Rustic old trains. They are um, refurbishing all these all the time, so it's nice to see. But obviously, this one's not been touched yet. But it's a voluntary thing, so it's nice to see them do it. It's nice to uh, contribute when you can. Zip. Oh, the street lights look cool. You can hear trains. Robert the Devil. Jiggy Devil. Are you into model railways at home or just railways in general? Just tell me in the comments, but I'm going to pan around quickly. This is just a little free to enter a bit with model railways. And um, before we get on the train for the Tugs Exhibition, ironically, which is about boats, signs. Oh, you can buy stuff. Mm -hmm. DVDs, tunnel mouths. I'm not really into uh, doing these things myself. I like looking at them, but signals for spares or repair. A house made of cheese. I remember that Intercity one. My brother having a set with that one. Remember that all too well. Oh. Another little crocodile. <laughs> Yeah, Stacey's just seen, if you can see down there, those builders down there, there's a guy stuck in the ground. Maybe come further around. I don't know if there's a crocodile or something that's near on the floor. <laughs> we've got a oh, they've got an alligator there as well. You can just see. Like, just about there, an alligator, and there's the guy stuck in the ground. It's a big control booth in the middle, which looks quite complicated. There's a lot of models there as well. I've been more into making the scenes from the models, but I mean the trains add to it. But there's the cargo one going back on the line. There's one racing down here. Comes the Intercity, or a variant of it. It's the D4, is it? No, it looks similar to it though. I'm not a train buff really. Oh, pile up, spaghetti junction there almost. Oh, the train's pulling in. We had time to get on it in a minute. Let's go. Oh, look all the street lights near the garages as well. How about that pops in the dark? Little factory, and there's lights inside the factory to light it up. Just down there, you can't really see it that well here, but pretty cool. This is the train of our lives. 25, we've got 20 minutes before it goes anywhere, but on the train. <laughs> Don't lean out the window, safety. This reminds me of when we did um, the other railway, which I can't remember if we vlogged it or not. I think it's going to go this way. So the tickets are between both of us, they're £15 each, but obviously they are unlimited as well. But um, you also obviously get a map, but obviously this is the map of not where we're this at. The the station we're this going is where to we need to Swanick. get to, the Swanick Junction. Um, and obviously if we get out of there and apparently go towards the church, that's where some things are. Obviously there's a lot of things to do, like children's playgrounds and stuff, so it's not just all about the theme things and the tugboats. <laughs> so there's plenty for the little family to enjoy. We also have a little timetable as well, but today it's a diesel train that we're on, so... Oh, diesel! That's why it's called the D4. Mm -hmm. That's cool. We'll get these. I'm learning we'll about trains. These. We'll get these soon. 
It's more the which side I go on as to where I'm going, but as soon as I get the hang of it, I'm fine. That's what we've got so far. Zebedee Zip, Zug, Zar, and Hercules. So we've got half of them already. I know. It's not bad though, is it? We just missed the guy with the flag just walked down, but we don't know which direction we're going either. So this is going to be interesting. Could we go in Mike's way or my way? I don't know. That's the little thing you can go in there. A little exhibition bit. That's where we've just been. And off we go. <laughs> Love it. Thank you. No problem. It's like an M. Yeah, but we don't get off. But we don't get off. Oh, ah, it's all good. Drake and Manor bag. Don't know if you can see my camera, there's some birds flying about. Birdemic over there. Great Gable. Great Gable. Great Gable. That's Great Gable. Does that mean they have a great, great Gable? <laughs> I love them trees. Biggest deck chair in all of Swanwick, that. Here we are, we're here. Mind the gap. It's lightly raining today. Oh, number eight, sunshine. Sunshine. Tugs exhibition, this way. Oh, that's sneaky. How many people do you reckon missed that? <laughs> we have not got number seven there, so we must have missed one somewhere. Well, that'd be about. We can always look later on. This is Swanick. I like the sign that says lavatory, so not toilet on it. <laughs> Let's go to the exhibition. Yeah, there's exhibition in the church. It's old sheet metal church made out the same stuff as that i'm gonna go in looking forward to this we've seen 10 cent but now we're gonna see more stuff oh they're not even behind glass More of the moulds. Different facial expressions. This hero. rogue. Oh, this pirate. Some parts here. Some different moulds and a fan replica of Tencent. Got Grampus, the submarine. Tencent. Another mould of another face. Expression. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so you can read. We just plug them into yeah. a receiver and yeah, they still work. And that's all original in there. It's nothing that's been replaced. Have you got? Have you got a favourite character from the series? 
Um, I'd say mine's probably two. Yeah. That was the one that I, he was the one I was still first. And then Sunshine Army, which was quite good. He was actually quite a quick job to do because the only real detail bit he was missing was the whistle and the What, so you'd make, did you make a mould for that? Or, yeah. yeah. Uh, no, it was uh, made out of uh, acrylic rod and uh, some discs to just get the same profile. Oh, so yeah. that would have I'll have to take the array for 3D printers. Something like this, this is a acrylic tube. Yeah. Oh, okay. And this is the same material that the superstructure is made out of, so mm. it's uh, very sturdy. durable. yeah. Is this half lasted on the inside or the outside as well? Uh, just the outside, yeah, just sanded it to keep the surface, because yeah, it yeah. comes like, very smooth. Yeah. Yeah. So you have to sand it in order for it to take its weight. That's what, that's what I thought, with the sandblasting, it makes it so much easier. Yeah. Yeah. I'm alright making stuff, it's the actual show that I don't remember. <laughs> that's my problem. <laughs> I remember yeah. some bits, yeah. but not all of them, yeah. so. Yeah. But then again, it's yeah. given these ones. Oh, that's so cool. And also the, um, uh, oh, there are photos, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. there are vlogs uh, on our website that I've written going into more detail about the restoration. Yeah. And all of his lights are working as well. Still, <laughs> somehow the filament inside has survived. Yeah. <laughs> That's one of the things we've actually found with the model is the actual hardware for the eyes and heads and things. Pretty much all of it has still been found to work. Mm. Because, mm. because these were built in the 80s, they're so much chunkier and... <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. We've done it. Last. Yeah, done yeah. So anything that actually had mechanisms in when they were chucked, still yeah. technically can function. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. As I said earlier, Sunshine's kind of... Sunshine's one of the few that's had the full restoration. Yeah. Work, so How did you come across the models, or were they all from different... They were all from the one place. Basically, one of our number, I think it was we Chris back there, was approached by a private collector. Oh, and he had collected them? Yeah, basically, as far as we were aware, they were basically all chucked in the skip out shape chamber tune as soon as the show was over. And they were basically kind of saved last minute when they realised what they actually was. Mm. Uh, this guy had tried, this guy had kind of hoped to try and get them kind of more than yeah. probably himself. But was it was just him, it was obviously a lot in terms of time and money. So he was asking around for buyers. He, he basically knew. Person, obviously, most people are friends, yeah. fans of the show, and things like that. And we didn't think anything survived, let alone almost the entire collection. Yeah. We figured it was that before the. Because as far as we know, only four of those face mask boxes have survived. Are these ones with the. Yeah, some of the different expressions. So those boxes surfaced on eBay first. And then later on, the gentleman who had the models approached. Because uh, a lot of the, what he didn't want was for the collection to be split up mm. and wanted it to be like, kept as one whole collection. Mm. Like, how did they mould the face? How did they do it? They just make a mould like that. Like that. So this is, is it like air blast? Uh, so this is one of Hercules's face masks. What yeah. they would do is cast a. They would make a neutral expression first. So if I. Yes, it's like a resting face. Hercules. Yeah. So I just always want to know like how they do it. This is neutral expression. Yeah. And then from that, they would um, use a Dremel to carve into it and then use filler to make it different expressions oh, and so yeah, yeah. on. Yeah. Cool. I, just I just always wanted to know. Like, mm. I knew how to do like, the blast molding, injection molding, all that. That was the expression that survived yeah. with the model. Oh. So, cool. so this one would likely be modified from that. Yeah. And that way you keep all the correct proportions like your nose. Yeah, because you're only changing yeah, the mouth really. Yeah. And sometimes maybe the eye expressions a bit. I was going to say the cheeks change differently, but that's about it, isn't it? Like when they do it. I do like Hercules though. Hercules. Hercules is cool. What about I top do like hat? Hercules. Top hat. And then what's also handy is some of the. What we've got here are some of the original, like, um, test cards, or the original moulds. Yeah. Like, these are the vac form patterns. Yeah. For... Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So, we've been very lucky 
the fact that they've survived and also well, that they've been is, given uh, to us. Yeah. yeah. Because then should anyone be missing any pieces we can yeah. we can make yeah. new ones yeah. as accurate as possible. Half pick out oh cool. <laughs> I'm just out of that. But it's also good because it helps to show the process as well. It does. You know. It shows how much of these was built from scratch. I think like the only thing that wasn't made from scratch is a lot of the detail bits like the port holes, um, life rings and so on. Um, what happened is the uh, the art director, Chris Tullock, he pretty much raided all the nearby model shops around the studio and <laughs> bought parts. I do not blame him on that one. <laughs> Warrior. Wasn't Warrior your favourite, you were saying? When you walked in, you're like, oh, Warrior. I quite like Warrior, yeah. Mm. I did like Hercules though as well. I like I Hercules and uh, Top Hat because just... <laughs> The mannerisms are a bit no, eccentric. Uh, everyone loves uh, Topa, who is uh, sadly a at the moment. Oh. Have you got any of the, um, they're called the Z-Stacks, weren't they? Yes, the Z-Stacks. Oh, the Z-Stacks from the other one, yeah. Do you have a favourite Z-Stack? Or were you not really interested in them Probably as well? Zerbidi, I think. Yeah. Just because he um, had that kind of duality about him, <laughs> I think. <laughs> Um, the only Z stack that's not here at the moment is Zug because he's also away being restored. But so uh, yeah, it's just where yeah, some of them are quite, uh, quite fragile. Yeah. yeah. The ones they made extras of was ten cents and zip, but they were hollow dummy models, a bit like what Fire Tug is. That there's no mechanism in that. Yeah. But they were made for like touring and publicity. Um, what has become of those yeah, display so models? We have no like idea. Sunk mostly. Sorry. Sunk mostly. Yes. We used as target practice um, for one of the many explosions. But it's, it's the unfortunate reality of TV props that if it's just no longer in need anymore... Just check it out. Yeah. Because they just don't... The problem is at the time during the 80s, no one realised how big of a following prop yeah. acting would garner. Yeah. <laughs> for example, the, um, in the first Aliens film, the ship the Nostromo, they basically... I mean, there's oh, that ship really probably is. about as long as one of these pews. And they, the studio didn't out. want it anymore. And, then, and they literally just gave it to someone who wanted a theme party. They actually gave him the props for it. And unfortunately, the lyric yeah, just gets so big, he's got nowhere to put it. It just sat there watching on his drive for decades. Mm. Never seen a traffic. So unfortunately, it fell to bits because it was not good. But we've, we've seen one of the bigger ones in the one time. Mm. You wouldn't mind in the back of the movie. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's quite a job. See, now you can see the deterioration on it because that never made it good. Yeah. Of course, where it was in water and stored after you got down. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the wood rot and everything. Yeah. Lily has suffered a bit from that as well and stored in her at the moment. Yeah. And now we're making it. We believe she was made by. Who built the set dressing for the buildings? Okay. And those were made out of the marine flyer that goes with the resin to waterproof. Is that? I'm guessing that. Is that a water gun? Is that operational? Yes. Yes. So that's quite impressive. I don't expect it to work now, but I'm just uh, drink. Ever actually worked on screen? Oh, okay. There are some behind the scenes photos where, in the in the shot of munitions where he's posing down the dock side, you only see him from this side. Yeah. Yeah. So you've actually got a hose running up the side and strapped to the side of the ship. Yeah. So I don't, I don't think the hose ever actually worked on screen, but. In, th in theory it could do because this is a model kit one and mm. they were made to actually shoot water mm. that's cool I wish I brought change it's, it? it's much like the, one, the ones I've got down on the table I found those are a match for the fire barge okay. that you see munitions because um, they come in all shapes and sizes and yeah you can build them to actually shoot water Imagine me, I'll be there going, wherever you walk back <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what have we got? What have we got? Thank you. No, you're welcome. I love it. You want to Yes. Uh, it's just like, even like, like strewn on the pipe. Big man. The face, and warrior. And then flip it over that way. I think it's big. 
think Pack and Warrior get the two mixed up. They're very up, similar, yeah. But they both work together because they both helped each other out. Yeah. You don't even say once from scratch. Exactly. <laughs> well, I got bunting. Yeah. If I had a batch, as well, he would definitely go with the chair. Oh, we go and see the Z stacks. Yeah, I feel like a traitor now. We're going to go see the Z stacks. It's not really a Thomas. Perfect group. It's an eyeball What an incredible building that was. We're going to see the Z stacks, which are like the bad guys, except they're not the bad guys because um, they're just another freight company. That names all start with Z and they're all mainly painted black, if you've seen the show. When I will put some snippets of the show if I'm allowed to in here. literally short of 60p just to get a fridge magnet. Like, how annoying is that? <laughs> but we're going to go and see the Z stacks in this other building. What do you think so far? I think it's really interesting. Like, I don't know. Like, I've got so much appreciation for those people that build things up and restore things, it's just unbelievable. We've also got some more station buildings here. It's quite nice at Swanet. That's the, if you ever watched Tugs, what was your favourite character or your favourite episode? Was it the one where a lot of stuff exploded, which doesn't narrow down the episodes, but there is one specifically where the dockyard exploded. Let's see if we can find the rest of those things as well. Here we go. Ten cent. I've got more. Big freeze. Belly shoe pack. These are like the supporting characters mainly. Burke and Blair. I always remember the scrap. I think you remember the scrap dealers. Oh, that's why it's big freeze. It's two G's in big city. Never apart. Two of the only models that weren't given me to either eyes or head. Evil and brainless. Some more moulds, some sketches. Got a zip. Zack. Meet the Z stack. The Z stack from Flix in the most troublesome tool boats operated from Zero Marine Dock. Their crooked owner, Captain Zero, encourages them to be as ruthless and devious as possible. They all work from the start. Everything is my tusk. I'm literally stealing their car The Z stacks were predominantly inspired by the more incorporated fleet of New York. Dark and practical in appearance, the models like li livery? The models? Yeah, livery. Livery, library could have been rather different with the model of Paul Knight's original plans intending four dramatic lightning bolts to be painted down their stacks. A truly shocking that would have been cool. concept. They weren't really bad guys though, I think that's what was. Uh... About it. Yeah. It's Lily. Here we go, the instruction. Who he said was when made. Done, come and have a chat with us in the Tug's exhibition, find out what, about what we do. That would be your colleague's name now. We was in there a minute ago and he said, I'm sure he said Lily was the one who was made by the people that made the props. It was him at the time, didn't it? Yeah, the guy that, just yeah. went, yeah. <laughs> have you got a favourite of the uh, Tug, the uh, Star Tugs? Oh, um, I didn't say that, they've all got years somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's the toss-up between Hercules and Top Hat. Yeah, I, think like I just like how eccentric they are. Lily, top Hat's popular. Top Hat. Oh, he's, there's no Top Hat here, he's so popular. It would either have to be... What does Zoran look like? Can I see the No, I'll take one. Hercules. Oh, Hercules. Hercules. Then we've got one of... <laughs> Freaks first thing, Carlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Who was your favourite of the Z stacks? I'll go here, the lighting's better. I quite like um, Z because of the way that his hat's joined to one side. Yeah, I think uh, Zoran's probably. And I thought he was quite sneaky if I remember in some episodes. Just because <laughs> Little play set. From the Orient. Firstly signed by Chris Tullock, art director and voice artist on Tugs. There's um, Zoran and uh, I can't remember that one, I've just seen it in my room. Jigsaw puzzle. 
And the amount of dying that's lunchbox. Oh. See the bottom. No, no, no. VHS. Yeah, I found the one that there was well, that's right. Right. Yeah. 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 No one knew that they killed that. Like, what? Oh, that was not yeah. 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 I, I haven't watched the full one. Some more of the moments. That's a story to look forward to. This thing is inspired by one of the other episodes on Manny. Was that your own or the brush footage? So, really, you know, you there wouldn't be literally everything if they've survived. There's no point. They've already been here. Because it's not true. Guess what? They've got these tanks around the back of the middle of the mine. It's not true. There's one more to come. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, like it's not it's not for example and like like 80 times yeah, then, then the value would go down, down and therefore plants in the donation. On the backs. Yeah. 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 So yeah. that's always at the doctor's. Because I remember reading. Yeah, I remember reading it. Yeah, I remember reading it. So, and that's why I always use. That's why I'm using it. You were going to get last year, weren't you? Oh, yeah, back then. Yeah, that was, yeah. Yes. And then they want to spread some in the magazine, the guy that just spoke to us. Yes. Yeah. 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 Ye
not even at me, that guy. Yeah, come We are back at the beginning where we were before at Butterley. Yeah. So we'll see you in the rear view because for now we're going. Bye! It's coming! Goodbye now!